Hello. Right, let's see if I can do this. So choose a circle. Um, F4. Or 12 mil. Press shift to line up the top. There we go. Uh, and then another circle from center. F4 or 0. Uh, press shift to make it square. Oops, 12, we need that, don't we? Or we said 10. I can't remember. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, no, it was 10. Look. F4. Shift 10. There we go. Um, select that. Go into that. And then we need to transform and move. And if we turn quad off and go center, it doesn't actually matter, I don't think. Put 10 in there. Center. Okay, and then if we quad back on center there, align from there to so there. And then. <coughs> If we do uh, rail cross section, is that okay? And then we can count that. It is a command, I think, to make truncated cones, but it's done anyway, isn't it? Now, um, now to flow onto that, if we go to curve curve from objects create UV curves click on the bit you want click where you want the corner of it to be which is I've just done it on no I mean doesn't matter you can move it out now what Rhino's done there it's taken the surface from the outside of it and laid the curves out there uh, now it's pretty important that um, this surface it takes it off as clean um, as clean as you can get it so sometimes if it's made up of lots of cut and um, joined surfaces to build something similar shape underneath it and use that to project onto um, but this say we just made it and there's no cutting and stuff because we did it with sweep so it, it'll go onto that fine um, he says in hope <laughs> Uh, now that, if we explode this, um, eight segments, so basically that's, um, sometimes you get it where it duplicates curves when it comes off that, I think because it takes a curve from the, you've made the caps up as well maybe, I'm not sure, but, um, so if you sell, um, select duplicate, delete gets rid of all them curves now the same so surface now sweep with two rails your two rails and your cross sections okay um, so you've got a nice clean again surface there so now put whatever you want onto the top of that uh, do, 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 do. solid where am I at where am I going text solid Joseph one that'll do uh, make it a bit bigger uh, eight there we go now what I should have done there really let's do that again okay oh no it didn't anyway I thought it might come in selected, but it's not. Uh, I'll go on a side view. Um, box that way around to select all that. So if you look now, you've selected everything. And we'll drop that onto that layer just to make it easier. So change object layer. Now what you need to do is uh, transform into it. Uh, flow along a surface. Objects to flow. If you go into that, select objects. Objects flow on the surface. Press enter. 
base service near a corner, so we'll go to there now. Sometimes this works out all liggledy pickle day, but you can I can't see which one's thicker, is it there? Um so if we use that there. There we go. And basically that was the scene where we made the circle. Um, so that's the beginning bit and where you select on here has to match so if we'd have selected the top and selected there that would be upside down if that makes sense um, so then just select that and hide it um, there you go awesome Joseph one <laughs> Uh, yeah, no problems. I hope that helps out. But the big thing with it is making you got sure you've got clean surfaces, otherwise it goes wrong sometimes. All right, cheers for that, bye.